With Windows 8, Microsoft included a new app by default, the Xbox app. This provided an online gaming service for Windows Store games. With Windows 10, Microsoft has been pushing this further and taken it to the point of Xbox and Windows Crossplay. Would it surprise you that this is not the first time Microsoft has tried a service like this? Back in May of 2007, five months after the release of Windows Vista, Microsoft released Games for Windows Live. This was an attempt by Microsoft to create an online gaming service and to help bring Xbox and PC gaming closer together. At its core, Games for Windows Live provided similar features to Xbox Live. These included online gameplay, a friends list, messaging, achievement tracking, and a gamer score. Additionally, a big feature to be included was cross-platform play. Microsoft had intended to bring cross-platform play between Windows and Xbox by linking Games for Windows Live with Xbox Live. Sadly, this service was poorly implemented and only a handful of games supported it. Even Halo 2, a Microsoft game, didn't support it. This was further neglected when Microsoft updated the Xbox Live voice codec, breaking cross-play voice chat support. One of the largest issues with Games for Windows Live was the price. Originally, the cost to be able to play multiplayer features was $50 a month. This was the same price as Xbox Live. Microsoft believed that they could charge the same price as they could on Xbox. This caused a lot of anger in the PC gaming community and eventually they decided to make it free. Another feature was Tray and Play. This was supposed to allow anyone to insert a game disc and play the game immediately, without having to wait for it to install. For one reason or another, Microsoft never implemented this feature and it was considered vaporware. In 2009, Microsoft launched the Games for Windows Marketplace. This provided an easy way to buy Windows games online and download them digitally, rather than buy discs in a physical store. Games were purchased using Microsoft points, which had to be bought with real money and could only be bought in packs. It is believed that this is done to obscure the actual price of the game and force the user to buy more points than required. In 2011, this service was merged with Xbox.com to create the Xbox Marketplace, a one-stop shop for both Windows and Xbox games. Microsoft announced in a blog article in August of 2013 that they would be shutting down games for Windows Live in 2014. The same month as that announcement, the Xbox Marketplace was shut down with only 7 days of notice. While Microsoft still runs the servers, the client has stopped receiving updates. This causes compatibility issues for games running on Windows 8.1 and 10. Windows 10 even gives a compatibility warning. Many game developers have decided to remove games for Windows Live from their games and switch to other platforms such as Steam. Unfortunately, there are still many games that have not been updated, and this causes problems for anyone who does not use Windows 7 or earlier. With Windows 10, Microsoft has included the Xbox app. Since its launch, Microsoft has slowly been increasing the scope of the Xbox app and bringing more and more apps to the Windows Store. As this increases, it appears that history is repeating. This video was brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare gives you unlimited access to over 18,000 classes on everything from design, to photography, to marketing, to technology. I use Skillshare personally to learn animation and love their courses. As you're a Medica viewer, you can get a free month of Skillshare by using the link in the description. After that, it's only $10 a month. So give it a try and learn a new skill.